Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor. In this video, I wanna answer a question that I get all the time about how to troubleshoot um, a possible short out in the system, or you're out at night and all of a sudden some lights just stop working and you wanna know, is it something in the field or is it uh, the transformer that's gone bad? Because I know a lot of you have um, older transformers, stuff that's from Home Depot or Lowe's and Moon Rays and Hampton Bays and all these cheap crappy ones. Uh, but you want to know before you go spend $300 on a new transformer, you want to make sure that that's the issue and it's not something out in the field. So I'm going to show you guys that. Um, if you guys like these tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we always go through all kinds of do-it-yourself, mainly landscape lighting, but some other things like indoor putting greens, permanent Christmas lights, that kind of stuff. And if you like this video, um, smash that like button. We'd really appreciate it too. So. This is obviously a way more uh, fancy transformer than a lot of you guys are going to see, but it doesn't really matter because the concepts are the same. If I crack this sucker open, in this case, the two wiring terminals are going to be inside the transformer. Now, in a lot of cases, they're at the bottom, they're in the back, but most transformers, you're basically going to have two. You're going to have one that says common, and you're going to have one that says either 15 volt, 14 volt, 12 volt, it doesn't really matter, all of them, or most, I should say, most good low voltage landscape lighting fixtures will operate between 10 and 15 volts, more or less. The cheaper you get, the lower that range is, sometimes only between 12 and 13. If you're doing a, a LED system, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter as much. If you had a halogen system, an older halogen system, or that's what you're working with, then you gotta be a lot more careful with that because um, those bulbs and those fixtures are a lot more temperamental. If you have anybody trying to sell you a halogen system, tell them to take a hike. That's like using dial-up internet. It just, it doesn't make sense to do that anymore. It just makes your life, especially as a do-it-yourself, or so much more complicated. So regardless, you're gonna have probably two taps. Some of the big transformers, you'll have more. You'll have a common, you'll have a 12, a 13, a 14, a 15, and so on. Um, you know, you can just, uh, you can use the larger taps for longer runs. It doesn't really matter. But if you are gonna use multiple taps, just use the larger ones, uh, the larger taps for larger runs and the smaller taps for shorter runs. But again, it's not really gonna matter. So I've discovered a short in the field. Now I gotta go and fix that. Um, I don't think it's any of the wiring issues, but I wanna make sure first, I wanna see if I have power coming from my transformer. So a lot of your transformers will just have a simple on off switch. This one's a little more complicated. Uh, this one has a dial with a manual, uh, all lights on for 15 minutes, and I'm going to go to start, uh, and I'm going to hit start. Now, I know that this should have power. Now, you might just have a quick toggle switch. Uh, you might have a little knob that says on off. Basically, to go and test it, you just turn it in the on position manually, however that is, um, because there's so many different transformers, I can't tell you exactly how to do that. Just follow your manuals. But basically, you just want to go turn it on. And then to find out, a lot of times, I don't know if you guys heard that, but there was like a, there was like kind of a click or a clunk. Uh, that's usually a good sign that your transformer is working. You usually hear that, but sometimes you don't always hear it. It's outside, there's traffic, whatever. So then what you want to go do is you want to go test your terminals. Now, the easiest way to do that is go get a voltmeter. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is a pretty simple one. You can go to Amazon, look for low voltage voltmeter, anything that's basically got this, I don't know if you guys can see this V there with the one squiggly line, uh, that's your voltage. Some of them will say 12 volts. There's all kinds of different versions, but basically go on Amazon, 10 to 15 bucks you can find one. That will work fine for anything you need to do low voltage landscape lighting. Then all I'm gonna do, the beauty is that with low voltage lighting, there is no polarity, there's no plus or minus. Red or black doesn't really matter in this case, but all I'm gonna do now that I have it on, you might have to back your screws off a little bit, but I'm gonna turn my voltmeter on. The little, again, that little squiggly line area there uh, with the V, if you guys can see that. And then I'm just gonna go hook it, my two, uh, <laughs> uh, usually I'll put this down, I'm gonna put it down for a sec. Uh, I'm gonna go hook it up to my two terminals. Like I said, you might have to back the screws off a little bit to get one at the common, one at the, whether it's a 12, 14, or 15 volt, and then you just wanna go and check and see what your reading is on here. Now, if you guys can see that, uh, I'm a little over 15 volts, which is perfect. Because like I said, 12 to 15 volts, I'm gonna lose some of that as I 
put the wires and stuff on, uh, voltage drop, go search Lighting Doctor, voltage drop, bunch of videos that explain how easy and simple that is to understand. Um, but that's how you go and, and test it. And then if it says zero, well then you know your transformer shut. You're not getting any power. So you just wanna really make sure you're connected properly. If it says nothing, well, it's a pretty good indication your transformer shot. If you didn't hear that little clunk at the start, when you turn it on manually, your transformer is pro probably pretty shot, and then you need to go replace it. Now, if it says you're getting power here and your lights aren't working in the field, well then you have a problem out in the field somewhere, whether it be a wiring connection or whatnot. So that's when you gotta go start troubleshooting that. But for this purpose, I just wanna find out if my transformer works. If you don't have a voltmeter, well, it's pretty simple, you don't need one. There's a lot of times I go out to a job site, I forget my voltmeter. I'm not great at putting tools back to where they go. I've probably got voltmeters all over North America uh, that I leave and forget. So really simply, what you can do is if you have a low voltage light fixture and you have two wires or you have some wires and a bulb, uh, doesn't matter. But basically all you're gonna do is just connect that light directly to here and then you can rule out all issues. I had a uh, customer who um, ran this, they ran the wires down, they teed off and everything. The connection could be literally anywhere in the line if it's out in the field. But we want to find out is it the transformer that's causing an issue or is it out in the field? So it doesn't have a voltmeter. So he said, okay, take a light and all you got to go do is just wire it in now. Now again, you might have to back off the screws a little bit. In this case, I'm just going to open those up. Uh, and different ones will have different things, usually a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes they'll have a, a Phillips screwdriver that opens them, but you'll be able to tell by opening it up. Then I'm just gonna go wire my wires in there. And then, uh, now the only key with this is if you're gonna do this, you wanna make sure at some form that light worked ahead of time, because if you use a light that didn't work and then it still doesn't work here, you're not gonna know. So you wanna make sure at some point that that light worked or that you know it worked. Um, if you haven't seen our videos where we use the battery pack, that's a good way to find out if you have a light uh, that actually works or not. I'm just gonna show you guys. So I've just wired my lights. I'm gonna show you the quick battery pack. You can literally go to Amazon and you can find these. This just takes um, some AA batteries. It takes eight AA batteries, uh, which are each one and a half volts each, which equates to 12 volts. They have these little alligator clips. Um, go to Amazon, search uh, 1.5 volt battery pack with alligator clips. You'll find something like this. They're a couple bucks. You might have to buy a pack of four. Doesn't matter, it's still under 10 bucks. And then you can go and test all your lights out with this. We've started using this uh, great tool to be able to find out too where you wanna place your lights, go play with the look of them, all those kinds of things. So basically now I don't have my voltmeter. I want to, I know that light works. I tested it with my battery pack. I pulled it from the field. It's a brand new light. I know it works. Now I've wired it in here and, and it works. So I know that I'm getting power here. If I did this and I got no power to this light, well, what does that mean? Then I have an issue with my transformer. It's probably time to replace it. So super easy way to go test that out, guys. I hope you guys enjoy that. Please like this video if you liked it. Um, and subscribe to the channel for all kinds of more troubleshooting as well as we're going to start talking about different fixtures Permanent Christmas lights is coming this fall, which is really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again for watching And this is Cal from the lighting doctor um, We'll talk to you soon